Okay, so Ray J got on social media yesterday to address Pastor Jamal Brown about the interview that they did together, and this is what he said. Yo, I got nothing but love for Pastor Bryant. Shout out to Jamal Bryant. Shout out to Von Alvarez. But if y'all play that interview, somebody getting snatched off the pulpit. Right. Don't play the interview. It's not clear. It was out of bounds. Me and Pastor Brian need to talk because the way I was why I was treated was dirty and illegal. And I don't like it. And I don't want nobody to play that f- interview. I don't care if you're from the church or not. Like, like be respectful and do people right. Don't call people out their name and don't make people feel like they're not safe in a place where they thought they were safe. I'm telling you right now, we need to work it out. Because if we don't, that's going to be a problem. Jesus Christ. Okay, so there's no context on what happened, what Mm -hmm. went wrong, or, you know, when the interview comes out or whatever. But Pastor Jamal Bryant responded by posting a picture of, you know, him and Ray J with a long ass caption. And of course, I'm not going to read that. But basically, he's saying he don't usually edit his interviews or anything Mm -hmm. like that. He could have just put it out at, uh, you know, no edit and just put it out. But for the sake of brotherhood and, you know, Mm -hmm. the respect that he has for Ray J, um, he did agree to edit it, clean it up, and then to put it out. I think Ray J wanted to see it um, because my thing is, if he said that he would edit it, you know, he's compromising, then why did you, you know, why did you go to the internet? That's basically what Ray J did. He still, like, put it on blast. And I think he went from... He went from saying edit it to I don't even want it out right now, but I think mm-hmm. he just wants to look at it. I, you know, and I hate when when anybody that that does that, especially artists, when you do mm-hmm. interviews and then after the interview you be like, damn, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Yeah. They, they maybe don't say that in the interview because yeah. now you want somebody to go back on the integrity and then take something out which can kill the flow of an interview. And mm-hmm. I love Ray J, but that we see that a lot with a bunch of artists. They'll come yeah. and they'll do an interview and be like, yo, can you take this out? Yeah. And you know, you don't want to because it's like, no, that kills the interview. We're right. going to ask the questions. Now, you don't have to answer. Mm-hmm. I could ask you whatever you want. You could just say, you know what? I'm not answering that question right now. No, I don't feel comfortable talking yeah. about that right now. No, you know what? Next time we'll talk about that. Or my lawyers won't allow me to talk about right. that. But if something, but if it is something that's going to get Ray J in trouble, mm-hmm. you know, yes, the pastor should take it out because you don't want to see any other body. You don't want to see right. anybody get in trouble. You don't right. want to see anybody go to jail for a, a misword or something that might be perceived the wrong way. So Or anything, but you just got to know how to pivot. Correct. Like you have to know. And and Ray has been in the business long enough to know how to pivot. And we've seen Ray J interviews before. We've mm-hmm. seen how he is and how he gets. I don't know how he was that day, so I can't really speak to that. Mm-hmm. But um, he also shared another story. I mean, another video to his story. Just tried to shoot me and tried to kill me, and you want me to apologize? Fuck you. Mm. That now, was in the pastor, right? No, and, and, I'm about to say the pastor coming <laughs> up with the hammer now. Like, what the hell? No, no. Oh. So he shared he shared the video, this video to the story, the last one that we just played uh, before Pastor Jamal Bryant even responded to him. So we don't know if one thing has to do with the other. We don't know if this is to Pastor Bryant or not. But this was this was like. The last thing that Ray said. Um, so we don't know. We don't know if he, that's just him Ray Jane or if that really, really happened. Yeah, I, I seen the rumors yesterday. I seen somebody said it was the pastor. I seen somebody mm-hmm. said it was Diddy's kids. Mm-hmm. I seen so many things. But you also got to understand one thing about Ray J. Mm-hmm. Ray J is an entertainer. Yes, he is. And, and sometimes Ray J will troll you to, to get mm-hmm. people on his page. And then yep. the next thing you'll see is Raycon TV. Yep, Make sure you check out a new say, episode. He has some shows dropping. He that's got right. his platform, his uh, network going on. So, you know, but prayers up for Ray J. Absolutely. Let's just pray for him. Um, social media sends love to Jasmine Brown. So earlier this week, we released our interview with Dr. Cheyenne Bryant. And during the interview, Dr. Bryant spoke on Cam Newton's relationship with Jasmine Brown. Who I would love to have a conversation with, whether it can, whether it's on camera or not, is Jazz. Yeah. I think that she needs tools on how to be in this relationship if she's going to stay. Mm. And if she chooses to leave, she needs tools on how to also pivot that. And it's not about having a conversation with her or having a session with her to get her to change her mind. Mm. It's about getting her to feel supported and showing compassion and then and trying to figure out where she wants to navigate from here. Yeah. But dealing with that whole dynamic. But what can you say to her that'll change I think how it's happy helping, she is I think with it's this. helping her come to, to herself. Hmm. And, and I, I think that... Um, I think that Jazz got herself into something that, one, she didn't understand that Mm -hmm. she was getting herself into. Mm -hmm. And I think she would love to backpedal if she could. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know how you can just say that about somebody. Like, mm-hmm. you, you think she got herself into something that she didn't understand. I mean, I I just, I don't understand. If you never talk to Jasmine, because some women are okay and happy in their situations. Every woman don't want one thing. Correct. You know what I mean? But if, you, if y'all don't remember, Cam Newton recently spoke about cheating on Jasmine. As long as I've been with Jazz, Jazz has not been the only person that I've had sex with. Jazz allows me to speak to her, and we are able to have banter as long as I've been with jazz, I cannot honestly say that I've only been with jazz. And I think as we grow, and I hate that I embarrassed her, because no woman ever wants to admit that openly, that their person has not always been with them. Only, I don't feel that she judges my action. She holds me accountable to my action. And she asks me certain things that, yo, how can I do certain things to better so that this won't be a normalcy for you moving forward. Mm. Mm, Yeah, so after our interview with Dr. Bryant, um, people were flooding Jasmine's comments. They were praying for you, girl, sending you love. It's okay. And the confusing thing is, she ain't asked for none of that. That girl was happy with her newborn baby and and she's on tour. Jasmine got a show on BET Plus and she's thriving in her love. And I remember a recent, well, it's not too recent, but Someone's back. Jasmine had did an interview with somebody, and I don't know. Do we have audio for that, Red? Okay, play that. What does a submissive woman do for her man? Everything. <laughs> what does that mean? You know, like packing his bag, unpacking his bag, just making sure all the things that he wants. And like, I, I pretty much read his mind. Like before, you can ever ask me for something, I'm already on it. He's spoiled. He's rotten. But I love that. Like, I want him to be that. I think my biggest flex is how I treat my man. And I've been known to love people back to health. And sometimes it's very draining. But my love is my superpower. And I used to hate that about myself. But now it's like, I'm just embracing it. Like, that's who I am. Like, if I love you, I can heal you. And if she can heal him, Dr. Brown, what you gonna do? Mm. (laughs) You know what I mean? Jasmine Mm. already made it clear that she's unbothered by everything that's going on. So... Um, still prayers up for everybody but I just feel like if somebody don't come to just mind your business yeah I mean <laughs> I, I agree with you like I, yeah. I, I respect and I love Dr. Shia and Brian but I, do I don't think everybody needs therapy yeah I, and, and I yeah. think uh, people figure out their own lives and situations meaning mm-hmm. if Jasmine is happy and, and Cam Newton is happy and they're comfortable with how their relationship is then that's how they are everybody's everybody's relationship is not the same Yeah. if he did cheat if he did step out and they dealt with it in house and they're cool with it and they're patching it up and they're working on getting into a better place mm-hmm. that's what they're doing like you said Jazz might be fine this might be something that's old that they dealt with and they're talking about right me and my wife we talk about what we've been through in our book and that was mm-hmm. 10 years ago mm-hmm. but we're able to talk about it now because hopefully we can help somebody out that's going through the same problems the same situation right. it don't make you a sucker if you pack your man's bag yeah. it don't make you a sucker if you cook for your wife because when I do these trips my daughter mm-hmm. packs my bag that's right. when I get home my wife unpacks my bag mm-hmm. on Sundays I cook for the whole family I don't care that's this is that's family that's what love is yeah like, and then it's right you said that's what love is and that's what Jasmine and Cam's love is so just leave them people alone that's right and that's just with the mess all right wake that ass up in the morning the breakfast club.